Hello and welcome to the Vita Toolkit training session about the My Favorites module. The My Favorites module lets end users gather pieces from your collection and other Vita collections for their personal review and use. The way that it works is that it's a, a logged in space where people can bookmark items from Vita collections and save them and sort them and organize them the way you see here with my collections so I can have them either unassigned or assigned to a group that has a theme. Um, the module is on a different platform from Vita so there is a bit of a step away uh, to logging in but also for customization and I'll talk more about this as we go forward. Uh, and presently the favorites tool uh, for the end user is only available for private use. There's no way for people to share or broadcast their favorites. So in some ways it is a personal bookmarking tool as if you were in your own browser and you wanted to uh, bookmark a page from a website. It's the same sort of idea. The integrity of the information from the records is kept uh, according to the way that it was written by the original uh, producer of the record and then you can as an end user add your own notes and tags and so on and personalize it that way but without losing the original information. So let's take a look at the My Favorites option. So I'm on the public side of a few different sites and what I want to do is look for some information about Japanese internment camps. And I'm searching by the phrase Japanese internment so that I get back better, closer uh, items for my collection. Here's a group shot that looks interesting. Now you'll see that on the right hand side at the top of the screen of the Scriber Vita site is a login to my favorites option. So I am a returning user which means that I can just simply log in and I will. Um, but if I was a new, a new user I would start a new account. There's no real difference between the two except that when I logged in suddenly now I can see my favorites, I can log through and see my favorites or I can add this to my favorites. So I'm going to add this item to my favorites collection. You'll see that the the title, the original title carries through. I can change that if I want to. Um, for my own purposes, I can add a note that maybe I want to look into what it was that they were building, and I could say that they were um, a building crew, and I could say that it's summertime. And I also have the choice in this screen to add it to one of my collections. Right now I have two named collections. I'm going to add it to the Japanese internment research and add it. So now that that item has been um, submitted to my favorites, you'll see that the option to add it has dropped away from the top of my screen. And let's just find a couple more. And again, I'll do the same search by phrase. And you'll notice I'm using the advanced search screen. Um, this is a, an aggregate site that brings together the scriber material as well. So we're seeing the same materials again. And I'll just grab one more piece here. for the jackfish group. So now let's take a look and look at my favorites themselves and take a look at how I can collect them and describe them and so on. Now when I log in I get to um, either add things to my favorites or come through and see my favorites. And you'll see that I've got six items in my Japanese internment research group so I can scope to that. I have different ways of viewing this list. I can look at them in a more um, traditional 
results set view with the thumbnail and the description, you'll see that the original description comes through. But here are my notes as well, the ones that I've added. If I want to add more information um, to my own record, um, I can do so here. And I can also reorder the items if I want to and simply click and drag if I want to have them in a specific order. This is all very much for personal use. As you can see, I don't have any um, method of broadcasting this. And even if I am to send out a um, a URL to a friend, it will require a login to see. So they would have to use my login. I can sign out and I can also change my email address anytime. So the, the management of your own account is very simple. It's a, a login name, a password, and an email address. So how do I configure my, my favorites module for my site? Keep in mind that on the public side, a user can have a, sim a single My Favorites login and from any Vita site that has the My Favorites module turned on, they can then add items from those collections to their favorites, to their bookmarks. Um, but you can configure uh, how the dialog box works within your own site. So this is a site management uh, tool and that means that you need to be a site administrator to make any changes. I'm logging through. On the left hand side at the very bottom you'll see the My Favorites option. So the first item on the screen is whether or not you want to display the My Favorites on your site at all. Do you want people to be able to bookmark and, um, and make personal notes on items from your collection? You can turn it on or off. The default is that it is on. And then you have some options for changing the labels on how you want to present that information. So when I'm here, I have log out of my favorites, see my favorites. That's how that's looking. And these are the labels that I can assign. If it's already been added, there'll be a label that says that as well. So this is the dialog box that you can customize. My favorites account, uh, what you want the, the fields to be titled, and then you should be able to um, add a small help statement as well. So here we have the title of the dialog box, the first field, the second field, and a help. There's a sign up button. Uh, you can either say sign up or start my favorites. And then you have a login button for those people that have already set up an account and a close button to just close that dialog box. Now when you are adding to the collection, another dialog box shows up and you can either add, you know, and then you can add um, your title and so on. So let's take a look here. I'll log in and let's go back to some results and we'll choose a new photo so that you can see that dialog box that comes if I wanted to add something new to my photos or to my favorites. So here we go, add to my favorites, um, my title, my notes, my tags, my collections. So these are the dialogs that you can alter as well. And then the original title and description will be listed as well. And then add this item is the button at the bottom. So these are the, this is the extent of the customization that you can do with the My Favorites. Now because it is on a different platform, it means that you can't customize the view uh, that, we're, that we're seeing here. So the step away is here. I just clicked on see my favorites. You'll see it opens in a new tab. I have to re-sign in because I'm actually moving 
to another password. You can save, you know, your browser will offer to save your information, or you can remember me and then sign in. But this screen here, because it is on a different platform, we can't offer up the option to customize it in terms of look and feel, with the exception of some of the labeling on the records themselves. So when you go into an update button, you'll have some customization here. The look and feel will be generic across, and part of it is because it is a shared uh, platform so people who are using the my favorites are able to go across Vita and use it so you can't have too many different customizations um, beyond your own site once you're done with all of the customizations for your labels you can update that space don't forget to reinitialize your public site and this will simply push all those changes up so that the next time you log into um, an item and you see um, an item that has a My Favorites button on it, then your changes will be obvious there. Now the other thing to do is don't forget to tell people that this is available. Um, when you do any promotion of your site, let them know that there's personal bookmarking so that if they are doing research, they can save information, they can make notes of it, they can put their own social tags associated with each item in their collections so that they have a way of feeling some uh, engagement with your collection, but also to let them know that any Vita site will potentially have this as well. So when they do a, a search across something like Our Ontario, any of the contributors who are in the ourontario.ca portal, their material will potentially have a My Favorites option as well. So people can save from across the collections and start building um, a wealth of information from different sites. So thank you very much, and I hope that helps. Don't forget to refer to the manual about this and um, contact us if you need any more help at help at vitatoolkit.ca.